how are we doing? Apologies for the delay in getting started. Um, I've got a bit of a, a bit of a different setup today. Um, I noticed that we were having some problems with some frame drops on the animations last time we streamed. So we've adjusted that. <coughs> uh, we're now playing at a, a different frame rate, which should help. A different frame rate, a different resolution. Um, so the plan was to go back to the windmills, um, which which I've already forgotten where it was. Uh, hello Dab, I'm here to inform you that my DIY keyboard dagger was a huge success. I'm now the proper keyboard warrior. <laughs> Good shit man. Uh, right, okay, so we're gonna go back to the windmills. This feels a bit like deja vu. A bit like deja vu indeed. What did we do last time? We just dropped in somewhere, didn't we? We'll see if that works again. <laughs> I'm sure it was down the bottom here. Yeah? If it wasn't, it was up the side. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so yeah, I'm playing, I'm playing at a different resolution, a lower resolution. It should make things a bit smoother, especially if we happen to land anything and we need to we need to introduce some cool animations, which I'm hoping to do fairly soon on on this particular stunt. Because uh, what I'm thinking about doing is maybe just setting up setting up the hour timer, spending less than an hour here, because we're going to land it really quickly. Um, oh, we're all set up like the the previous stream that we're. Doing some, doing some airliner stunts. Roger that, supplies in. Coming heavy. Well, the timer's massive. The timer's massive because we've got a different resolution. <laughs> Doesn't matter too much. <clears throat> it's all about the stuff. All about the stuff. The music's a little bit loud, actually. So it's um, currently, what? Well, we're at like half past seven or something uh, in Scotland here. Uh, it's been a beautiful day. It's been several beautiful days in a row, actually. What's it been like where you are, Connor? What are we doing again? I forgot what we're doing in the stunt. Analog stick's not showing up in the UI. Uh, yeah, I think that's because I disconnected and reconnected the... Um, Oh man, that's still not working. Uh, it was just because I, I had to disconnect the Bluetooth momentarily because it wasn't working properly. Um, I guess we'll just turn it off just now. Nothing seems to all work at the same time. We'll get there one day. We'll get there one day. It's all about the stunts, so. It's all about the stunts. So it doesn't matter if everything doesn't work as long as the stunts, the stunts get landed. Okay, so try to remember our setup from last time because it was actually it was a few streams ago. I thought it was like the last. What the fuck, man? Is it the last stream or was it two streams ago? Or have we been trying this every single stream? I forget. It's not a very good first attempt. It does feel a bit different with the different resolution. I'm obviously tuned in to be 
to be playing this at full screen, whereas we're playing at a, a smaller screen. I believe you're trying to land on another windmill in like the two in like two steps, swinging from one to another. Uh, yeah, no, it was, I was more so trying to remember the exact specifics of how we were going to do it and where we need to be positioned. Uh, but thanks for the reminder there. Uh, we're going to be positioned over this bush. We're going to swing from this windmill. And we're going to try and land on that one. We've got the hour timer set up. It's a nice chill Monday evening. We're going to land this nice and quickly and go and find something else. I think that's what we're going to do. That's the intention. That's the plan. Whether it happens is a different story. Um, but... We're the ones writing this story, so so maybe we can have an impact on the on the outcome. <laughs> Bounce off and land on it. <laughs> Not quite. I, was thinking, I, mean, I remember thinking earlier on, I'll probably stream the, the windmill and I was thinking, third time lucky. So this must be the third time we've spent here. Probably be the third hour we've spent here. As usual with these kind of stunts. Um, they start off seeming like they're going to be easy, but oh my god. The actual execution of it is way harder. spend an hour here which is kind of why I put the timer on for an hour it's the pressure to try and finish it I don't want to be counting out uh, like sort of how long we've been here for like an hour I want to land this really quickly and move on oh, that was looking good felt decent Man, I've got the chat in a really dumb place, because... This is possibly one of the worst stunts to be trying to alter the resolution and change the way that I'm playing the game on. It's like, it's really hard. I didn't even land it when, when we were playing full screen. Oh man, that was perfect. Oh. There's a blank YouTube chat window. Um, yeah, it was supposed to be this YouTube chat, but um, for some reason, it doesn't seem to be working correctly. Um, that's like the bit of fourth time I've tried to get it working, and every time it's worked when I've tested it. Um, like I've done a, I've done like a private test stream, and it's worked. And I've been like, oh yeah, that's good. I'll be able to use that. And we've come on the stream, and it's like totally went kaput. Nope, we give up. Not working. So I don't know what to do about it other than just to say fuck it. Whoa. Open up your own chat window. <laughs> Proper do it yourself stream. See, no support. Now. 
So the good thing is, is like I'm, I'm getting the same frame rate that I was before. It's just that lower resolution and everything else, like the streaming and everything is running much smoother. So it's a small, small price to pay. Uh, I noticed your message there, Conrad, but uh, we've got a, we've got a stunt, to, stunt to land, I'll read it in a minute. Man, we're not getting distance today. Um, okay, uh, there's a stunt I did that you could try and do better. Um, fast travel to the airport at Nova Boss, one right next to the capital. When you get there, there's an airliner and a bus that spawns on the right. Hijack the bus and crash into the airliner to make it career into the fuel silos. Well, that sounds cool. Very just cosy. With the distance there, like I'm, I'm just remembering now exactly what I need to be doing to get more distance, and it's like, oh, it's all coming back to me. It's just a little bit slow. It feels like I've not played this game in forever. I know it's, it's, it's only been less than a week, but. I guess when I'm, when I'm in the mood to stunt, I usually play it a lot more. Uh, but I've been really busy, so... Um, didn't have a lot of time this weekend. Watch out! Yeah, this is good. Here we go, come on. Oh, we overdid it! We're looking for that Goldilocks. Not too far, not too short, just right. <coughs> that would be a really cool stunt to do there, uh, Conrad. I mean, I think that um, those kind of those kind of stunts are not really the kind of thing I specialize in, really. Uh, the kind of the more uh, I don't know, like I guess you'd kind of call them more sort of like action stunts uh, I know like sort of um, oh god damn it trying to talk and stunt at the same time is not very not very good not when it's this hard come on what the car went without me <laughs> I forgot what I was even trying to say. Hydrate. Remember to hydrate. your style of stunt and thread the needle. Mine is usually thread the needle gets stuck. <laughs> um yeah no it's a, I mean it's not not inaccurate. I mean those are those tend to be the kind of stunts I, I really like to do is the the, the ones that you've got to be um, quite precise with your with your landing. Oh, come on get in the car you dick That's the second time he's not got in. I don't even know why. Good effort there, Rebel Jet. <laughs> Just fly into the turbines. But even then, like when, when, I, when I make a montage, like I try not to be too fixed when it comes to. Um, any particular style stunt 
Uh, unless, unless that's the point of the video. Oh god, what are we doing? I'm gonna land on the same bloody windmill. I like to, I like to, like, when I make a montage, I like to put in a variety of stunts. So, um, demonstrating the kind of full breadth of what the game's kind of got to offer, I guess. So, like, in my last uh, montage just before Christmas, Deliberation, there's, like, quite a lot of stuff in there. There's a grind. There's a stunt with an airliner. There's a hoverboard stunt. There's a couple of hoverboard stunts, actually. Let's go! Come on, come on, come on! Make it! Ugh! Oh, we're so close. I wasn't really appreciating that camera angle, but it was damn close anyway. Yeah, so my next montage has uh, got... I, I guess a similar variety. Lots of lots of different lots of different kinds of stun. Uh, lots of different vehicles. Lots of thread in the needle. <laughs> What's going on? The camera's got stuck. What? Did we just... Oh no, the camera didn't get stuck. Did I fucking change the... Oh, I went to first person, didn't I? How'd you do that? How'd you change the camera? There's got to be a way of changing the camera. No, like, seriously, like, the camera won't change. Oh, fuck. It's the D-pad. God damn it. I feel like a right idiot. I never change a camera. Um, right, okay, so... Uh, what I like about fast travelling to the airport is 100% repeatable. Uh, at least that's what I did. Um, the airliner and bus would always spawn at the exact same spot and that's how you can practice. Yeah, yeah, that's right. I mean, uh, a lot of places where you spawn, uh, it will be repeatable. Um, one of my stunts, the the hoverboard onto the airliner wing, the, the opening stunt of Deliberation, the one that was released just before Christmas, that uses the same kind of thing. So you can fast travel to the airport and try it again. Uh, because there's always an airliner that comes into land. Um, that said, it doesn't really it doesn't really make the stunt any easier. Um, just makes it um, somewhere you can practice it repeatedly. Uh, and I guess when it comes to just cause uh, stuff that involves any kind of NPCs or or spawning vehicles it's useful to have oh fucking hell it's really useful to have because uh, otherwise the stun just wouldn't really be feasible uh, because you wouldn't be able to try it you would be able to practice you wouldn't be able to get better oh I thought you know Immense levels of dedication, but that would just be kind of at that stage. It almost feels like, well, yeah, I'm not sure that'd be fun. <laughs> like I've had a bunch of ideas which are, which are, just not feasible. 
there's certain places where like planes don't fly, but it would be cool if they did. God damn it, that's two in a row. How long have we got? Oh, we're only 18 minutes in. Right, okay. Let's do this. Let's just fucking land it now. All we need is we just need a good contact on top. Just one good contact on top. So what are you doing now then, Conrad? Are you working on another... Another... Craft? Another craft? Another... Um, I don't know what you call it. Another art piece? Another... Another thing? Alright, okay, come on. Focus in. Get a good swing. Damn it. Release just too late. I thought about trying this off stream, but. Um, like I say, I've been kind of busy, so I don't really get too much of a chance. Um, and uh, do you know what? Like, uh, like I've not landed too many like crazy awesome things on stream. Um, there's been a few kind of like, well, I guess there's been a few things, but um, I don't know. This feels like a slightly different caliber to what we've tried before. Especially the landing. The landing is really like sort of. Yeah. Come on. This is it. This is it. This is it. This is it. Oh, just short. Getting better tools. What kind of tools do you use? I guess. I guess when it comes to that kind of stuff, as long as you've got basics, you can be fairly creative. A Dremel or some shit. Oh man, we're we're. I'm feeling like this is this is within reach. Like we're getting some close attempts in, really quickly. Exactly, a nice Dremel. What, you mean there's bad Dremels? I would have thought, are they not all the same? I don't really know. I've, I've got like... I've got like an old Dremel from like... I think it used to belong to my brother. And it's like from the 90s. <laughs> Still works. It's so fast, it's insane. It's like, it's actually a bit scary at times. Like if you put the RPM right the way up. It's like it goes just insanely fast. It's like frightening. Like, yeah, you could sand through um, <laughs> titanium with it. Not sure if the car is large enough to stay on the turbine. Um, it seems like you'll just flip off every time you land. Um, well, I mean that that that's that's a, a legitimate um, uh, concern. However, um, we do have a number of factors at play here. <coughs> One. Um, uh, a, a wind turbine has already been landed by our Gurk doing a doing a airlifter stunt. So you can certainly land on it, and stay on it. Um, I've landed a number of things 
on turbines before yeah. uh, from Just Cause 3 and 4. Um, maybe not a vehicle quite as large as this, but to be honest with you, the size of the vehicle doesn't really matter so much as uh, the the way that you contacted it and the weight distribution. Uh, might be better off with something like a Neon Racer with this. Uh, it's lighter, but I've already got in the groove of doing it with a with an Echo, and it's not too much heavier. And we don't know if it's possible from this angle, but um, that's one of the reasons why it's like it would be an awesome stunt to land, because like, can you even land it? And if you can't land it, um, then obviously I'm just wasting my time. But if you can, and then I land it, it's going to be ridiculous. Because even right now, you barely believe it's possible. Imagine seeing it. Imagine seeing it live on stream. Oh! <gasps> Be insane. Could I actually do it though? Otherwise, it's just it's just all empty hype. You'll have to watch the montage that's coming out soon to get some get some satisfaction. <laughs> What's going on with Nightball? in on this. Right, this one. Come on. Yeah, I mean, it's going to be a crazy land, and it's, it's going to have to be just one of those, like, you hit it just right, and you just land it. I mean, I don't know whether that's going to happen or not, but the only way to really, um, the only way to find out is to keep doing it until until it happens, I guess. <laughs> I mean, I, I mean, I don't really want to reveal too much. I mean, but like I've landed some insane stuff for this montage coming up. I mean, like some stuff that I didn't think, <sighs> man, like. Legit was in doubt as to whether it would ever be possible, so so there's that. And I guess that's just kind of like uh, opened up my eyes, not not uh, giving me a, a a new sense of belief as to what might be possible in this game. Because for a long time I've thought it's. I mean, well, I still think it's kind of limited, <laughs> um, but it's also not. Contradictions are hard. Maybe social links auto post in every few minutes. Um, yeah, maybe something like that. I don't know. Like, I've not really done anything like what for, well, for ages, so I don't really know what's going on with it. We need a slight delay on the on the reel. We need a slight delay on the reel. I'm going too fast. I'm going as soon as I get hooked on. We need a very slight delay. Come on, blue car, you can do it. One more attempt. Get up there. It ain't so hard.
This one, right, okay. Slight delay. Ooh, right, we're, we're locked in with this now. We, <clears throat> we've got, we've still got, we've still got, we've still got 30 minutes, more than 30 minutes. Alright, that was too much of a delay, but I'd rather go too much of a delay than too, too little. This one, this one, this one. Get in the fucking car, you dick! What the fuck, man? <sighs> Not cool, Rico. <laughs> I mean, I'm pressing the button to get... I mean... It's obviously stood in the wrong place on the roof, but that's not the bloody point. It's like, come on. It shouldn't be that difficult. I'm on top of the car. When I press get in, he should just get in no matter where he is. But the controls in this game are just shitty, so so it does stuff like that to you. Okay, here we go. Just a little bit too much. Just that, just a fraction too much. But that, that's the line. We've got the line perfectly. We just need to get the weight right. That's the wrong place. bit under a little bit over we need that sweet spot maybe this will be the one I'm gonna say that for the next fucking 28 minutes if we don't land it we'll just go and find someone else so Right, I don't know what's going on with him. 
Like, I think I maybe just stood, walked off the car there. <laughs> um, it felt like I was still in the car. It certainly didn't feel like I'd even walked that far. I only took a step to the side. No! Right, there is a chance that if we take that line closer to the closer to the propeller, that we miss the one coming down and we hit the next one and that's just gonna knock us on. Most of what I do is through feel, so when it comes to controls, like I, I've not really got much of an idea of what I'm doing half the time. It's like if someone asked me what the controls are, I'd be like, uh, I don't know. Just like when I was looking for the um, the the button change, always oh, nice. Oh. Uh, just the way I was looking for the button change for the camera. Absolute shite. <laughs> like, where is it? Right there. It's um, right on the D-pad on the PlayStation controller. Not really sure what it is on others. Nice bounce, nice bounce, nice bounce. No, oh, maybe not. Here goes. The controls being a pain in Just Cause 4 are a multifaceted complaint. Like, number one, they don't always work properly. Like, there's that. But that's only one aspect. There's also the fact that there's no consistency across the control scheme. Like, depending upon what vehicle you're in or what type of vehicle you're in, different buttons do different things, except the same. So depending upon the vehicle you're in, you'll have you'll have nitro assigned to a different button. Like what the fuck's that about? Or, depending upon the situation that you're in, you'll have the cancel cancellation of um, whatever you're doing being a different button as well. Man, this is so weird. So much height. Um, I didn't get in the bloody car again. Uh, so like, yeah, so you your your cancellation of like like wingsuit or cancellation of hoverboard or or. All those kind of things are like all screwed up. They don't seem to make any real consistent sense. Imagine it's slapped by a wind turbine. Imagine landing on a wind turbine. We're not going to need to imagine it, because we're just going to do it. Oh! That was probably the best attempt yet. That was probably the best attempt yet. It was it was good. It was a little bit short. But you can see how all the all the momentum got killed as soon as we hit the top of it. Which just makes it even more believable. Oh, 
come on. I was tempted to take a bit more off, but I uh, Always a bit scary. Don't want to take too much off and then come up short. Blame yourself. Oh no, I shouldn't have just left it. Done that a few times. Not as bad as landing on the landing on the on the fucking top and then like actually reversing off or some shit. Done that as well. Embarrassing. Imagine doing that on stream. Holy shit. Right, come on. Oh man. Stretch my legs. Something about that angle just felt like we were gonna just hit the corner of the um the top of it with the wing wing or the propeller and just just stick it. Twenty one minutes to go. Land it or not, we will be moving on. Right, too much, too much. Need to trust, trust my instincts a bit more. Trying to hold off. Man, like, uh, I need to not get frustrated by this because we're getting close. That's a good thing. <laughs> I don't know what that llama's doing. Right, okay, come on. Let's just focus on the stunt, forget about the stupid llamas and the fact that the controls don't work properly. These good attempts that we're getting close. Let's get back in this groove. I'm just overthinking it because it's such a it's such a precise thing. We've got the direction and everything down, but it's the weight of it. And the weight of it does affect the direction, so when I say the weight of it, it's like the weight of the pool. So when you hook on, like you can't just go um, reeling straight away, instantly, full speed, because oh 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 oh, oh just a bit too much, um, because it just won't work. Um, if you if you reel too early, you won't get the pull required, and you'll actually come up short. And then if you reel too late, you'll go too far. And the difference between it is like, like probably milliseconds, you know? It's ridiculous. So timing that, in addition with all the other variables of like just where you hook it here, and then where you hook it here, it's not going to be perfect every time. It's not going to be the same every time. It's certainly not going to be consistent. There are small differences. And that has an effect on everything else.
come on. Oh! That was nice, though. That was real nice. 17 minutes. Can we land it before the hour is up? Can we land it before the alarm goes off? I don't want to hear that alarm anymore. I thought that was the one. I don't know, maybe if I just turned a little bit more. Would you just stuck on it? I don't know, I don't know. That, 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 that was the best one yet. Damn it, that one felt so good. Well, it just goes to prove this is, this is an insane stunt. Um, because we've been trying it for like, this is entering into the third hour, and that was the closest attempt yet. Um, uh, that's just how difficult uh, a stunt like this is. Oh, that was terrible. What were we trying to do there? <laughs> I reeled too early and I was trying a little bit a little let a little bit off and it didn't work. It just it just released. Cause I'm cause I'm cause I'm dumb. Dang the closest one yet. It was indeed. Um But we don't want close. We want on. That one felt nice. A little bit of an early reel. Didn't have time to take anything off. Need to just get a timing on the timing on the start. And that way I don't have to adjust anything. Here we go. Come on. Come on, baby. <gasps> oh. Now. That was the best one yet. That was nice. How long we got? 14 minutes. Do you think we can land out? We're getting so close. If we can repeat that several times, it will just be a matter of time before before one of them sticks. Just a matter of time. Cow brings good luck. Oh, we should get the cow gun. <laughs> Just shoot everybody. See if that brings us good luck. Be the only game where it would. Shoot everybody. Brings you luck. Why? Just cause. And again, come on. Oh man, we're on it. And that was with an adjustment as well. So if we can get if we can get a good reel, good timing on the reel, we're not gonna have to make an adjustment. We'll hopefully get a better outcome. Man, I'm pumped for this now. I know the music stopped. I think that's just the... I think I've got, like, autoplay turned off or something. So whenever I've got, like, a playlist set up, it, like, asks me every time. It's like, oh, are you sure you want to continue to the next one? I was like, well, yeah. I was like, 
it's not auto play. I've selected I want this to play. It's not the same thing. <laughs> Come on, YouTube. You don't understand your own service. It's like, please turn back on auto play. Otherwise, you can't listen to your normal playlists properly. Oh, thanks. Yeah, cheers. But actually, it's not a playlist. It's just, um, I think it's just cute. Which is probably just a, an offshoot variety of autoplay. Oh, not quite enough. Cow brings good luck. See if we can find another one then. Wildlife to be seen. Oh no! There we go! Moo! Alright, let's see if the cat brings us good luck. very good luck at all, um, especially when it comes to the music. Terrible shit, terrible shit. I don't know what that shit was. Very limited choice available, and I've spent absolutely no time off stream actually even bothering to look for anything. Because, to be honest with you, like, I mean, the music's not even... It wasn't even my idea. It was Bionta who was like demanding, demanding some music. I was just, um, I was probably happy with it. just stunning. It's I don't even hear the music. Too busy focused. Although having said that, like when I'm stunting on my own, I usually put music on in the background. It's just copyright stuff. Put on some CDs or some shit. Come on! Too much, too much. If you want to stick the turbines for after this stunt, you could try from on top of that small building. Might look cool. Maybe just land on the farthest turbine. Um, I'm not going to continue with a swing stunt of this variety there, Conath. I appreciate the, the input, but um, uh, we'll probably even move on from this area. I, I know that there's more, more potential stuff to do here, but um, I don't want to get bummed out. Um, uh, I've only spent a few hours here, and it still feels like a fresh stunt. It doesn't feel like I've um, completely rinsed myself of it yet. Oh, shit. Um, but some stunts are like, uh, they, they, they can become tiresome, and there's like, oh no, I don't want to even go back to that place. Uh, I've had a few of those in the past. Um, I can think of a couple of areas. There's one in area in the city that I kind of, every time I go back there, it's just horrible. Uh, and I guess that's kind of what the joke of the the, the title of this the stream is: is the, the PTSD. And they're like, holy shit, do I need to go back there? It totally triggers me. Um, but I don't have that yet. Um, take me back to that that city. That, that city um, building with the bike thread from one building to the next, that's, oh man, like that area still gets to me. <laughs> I go back there and I'm just like, <laughs> get flashbacks. I spent so long there. Oh, and same with the, these are both like amelioration stunts, the the drag car on top of the stadium. Holy moly. Oh man, that took a long time. Lots and lots and lots of sessions. And at that stage, it stops becoming fun. It stops becoming fun. Oh man, why did I try and land on it sideways? What, what am I doing? I just needed to turn round. 
Like, I'm not gonna land it on the side. You're gonna land it forwards or backwards. Probably forwards. Especially in this car. That reminds me of all the, all the drag car drops from the top of that fucking stadium sign. Oh my god. Like, I landed up there like three, four times and just rolled off. It was horrible. Those two were probably the worst. If you want to make the stream even more minimal, you could change the HUD to show only reticule. It is. Du -du 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 -du. Options, gameplay, HUD, reticule only. Are you questioning why the speedo's up, even though the reticule only, uh, because a stupid Just Cause 4 bug? And in order to get rid of it, you have to change the settings every single time you get in and out of the vehicle. So, um, so anytime you see a montage with absolutely no HUD, show some appreciation for the dedication to fuck around with the menu settings every single attempt. Every single attempt. Holy moly. Yeah. We're definitely in the PTSD triggering stage of remembering bad shit and stunts now. <laughs> Super annoying. Yeah, it is really annoying. There was one time... Don't ask me how this happened, but there was one time... Um, I... Accident... I don't It wasn't me, but like whatever I did, I accidentally tricked the game. Um, and it meant every time I got, got into a new vehicle, it was like it reset. And I didn't understand what happened. And I couldn't replicate it. But for that one session, oh my god, it felt so nice. <laughs> I'm not going to land it sideways. I'm definitely going to land it sideways. So I was not getting excited there at all. Four minutes to go, but I'm just like, nah, that's nah, not gonna land. <laughs> Should have probably got into the habit of maybe turning anyway. It only takes one, guys, it only takes one attempt. So, like, we might only have a few shots to go, but, like, one of them might just work. That one felt really nice. Roger that. Supplies incoming, heavy. I keep thinking of that song it just takes two. I'm thinking, no, 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 it just takes one, man. It just takes one attempt. feeling like a little bit of pressure. Oh, we've got a whole field of cows. Oh man, this could this could be the the, the cows have brought all the luck. We're gonna do it on this attempt. a little bit late. I was a little bit late. Come down. Come down. Come down. Oh. 
Everything was good about that, but I was just too late. Need to be earlier on that release. How long got? Two minutes. So oh, we only got a couple of shots left. Who's brought luck? I didn't bring. I didn't bring. I didn't bring the skill. Got a meat in the middle. Yeah, it's good. Are you seeing that? Are you actually seeing that? I called it. I could feel how good it was. And then that happened. You bitch! How long we got? We got a minute. Oh, like, this is gonna be like the last shot. Oh, man. Do you believe yet, Conath? Do you believe? Oh, it's another good one. It's a little bit late, a little bit late. Oh, it's fucking shit release. <laughs> oh no. That's it. Like, I mean, I'm not gonna have time. To, I'm not gonna have time to pull out another, another drop. Are we gonna? Are we gonna stop there? Are we gonna go for another ten minutes? Are we gonna put in a? A bonus 10 minutes after that was super close attempt? What do you think, Conath? You're the only one contributing here. I'm gonna take off the timer just before, just before it goes off. Just before the alarm goes. We're gonna go at bonus 10 minutes or look for something else? I'm voting for a bonus 10 minutes because I'm feeling good. And that was, that was the closest we've ever seen. Like, I was on it. Nah, man, don't risk the PTSD. What does that mean? It's equal votes, and I get I, I get the veto, unfortunately, because I'm, I'm the streamer. Um, no one else is in chat voting. So we're going for a bonus 10 minutes. Can we do it? That was the closest one yet. Like, we're in the groove. Like, that's ridiculous. Like, we can land this. Ten minutes of, like, getting close. That's that's all we need. We just need one. And we're still close. Bonus 5 Compromise. Well, you'll need to give me a shout at 5 minutes. I can't adjust the, the, the timers here, unfortunately. I've got I've got a 60 minute and I've got a 10 minute setup. Um, so unless unless I was to... Um, I can't fast forward them is what I mean. Um, so I would need to I would need to set up a 5 minute. Uh, unless you suddenly spam chat at 5 minutes and go time up. Getting a bit overexcited, I've given myself 10 minutes, yeah. Right, okay. Eight minutes to go. We just need to get back into that... Into that rhythm. Whether it's eight minutes or whether Conath decides to interrupt us, it doesn't really matter. We still need to get in that nice chilled rhythm, get a good position, 
over the bush. Get lined up with a correct propeller. That'll do. Nice timing on the pull. Good release. Come down, come down, come down, come down. Oh. It's hard to see what was going on there. Camera went really funny. I think it was possibly my fault because it didn't center the, the grapple correctly. So when it released it, pulled it around at a bit of an angle. So just pay attention to that this time around. So we'll go right in the center. Good again. Yep. Oh god. I was hoping it had a propeller there. I'm calling it good, but it was actually it was a little bit early. Fraction early. Yeah, we're just, it's the timing of the reel that I've got wrong, and it's all on the, unfortunately, it's just, it's the connection with the propeller, and then the timing, the time between you connecting and you reeling is critical, absolutely critical. And if you don't get that perfect, then you're kind of all out of options when it comes to really making adjustments. And I, and I just keep doing it wrong. I'm, I'm a bit too, a bit too quick. Pulling the trigger a bit too early. Clearly getting a little bit ahead of myself. So much for this bonus 10 minutes being the whole fucking thing is gonna like be the. Like, I'm like, yeah, 10 minutes. This is gonna be it. There's gonna be 10 minutes of like awesome attempts. Like, people are just gonna tune in just for this 10 minutes because it's gonna be so ridiculous. It's gonna be like bouncing off the top after bouncing off the top. And it's gonna get closer and closer and closer until a minute to go and then land in it. It's not really worked out like that, has it? Imagination has got like completely... Get in the car, you bitch! Oh man, you skied it, dude! You absolutely skied it! You didn't get in the car for like 25 minutes! Told ya. Um, yeah, you did, but like also, uh, like, it's only 10 minutes, so like, it's a big deal. It's not a big deal. I feel like you're too low on the propeller. Definitely too much momentum. Um, it doesn't matter where you are on the propeller. Um, as long as you're consistent. Uh, because what matters more when it comes to the power that you're going to generate is the reel. The timing of the reel, so... Like, a, a fraction of a difference on the timing of the reel uh, is the difference between one end and the other end of the propeller, so... Like, I appreciate what you're saying, but, like, the, the variables are... Yeah, that, that's not something that really needs to be considered as greatly as the timing factor. Get in the fucking car, you dick! Oh, Jesus Christ. Wasting all my attempts by not getting in the fucking car. It's 
It's like you just need to be stood next to a car or near a car and you'll get in it just by pressing the, the right button. So I don't understand how being stood on top of the car is like, oh, oh, what, 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 what should I get in? The car you're stood on top of? Yeah, that one. Miracle for land this. Yeah. Um, imagine doing a full loop around the turbine before releasing and then landing it. Um, you can imagine all you want, Conath. It's never going to happen. And it's never going to happen because as soon as you get inverted with uh, grapples and just cause four, the physics get fucked up. Um, just cause three manages it, okay, but just cause four, like no, it, it can't do it. As soon as you get inverted with a grapple, it just goes fucking crazy shit. Uh, which we'll demo at the end here. So stay tuned for that. Oh, we've only got a minute left. Last shot, so we might as well get a new vehicle. And then, then we'll try a full loop, and we'll show you how fucked up it is. If you want to see a full loop, go and see some of my Just Cause 3 uh, videos. We do some crazy stuff with windmills and uh, turbines and that. But it's a little unfortunate that the physics and Just Cause 4 are dumbed down a little bit to work on consoles, so... One of the side effects is grapples not working when when you get inverted. Oh, it's nice. Oh, it's real nice. Oh, it was so nice. That felt so good. Last attempt, though. Oh. Game over. Right, okay. Onto onto bigger and brighter things where we um, mess around uh, with getting inverted on one of these things. So it should be one right above us. That was nice. Yep. Oh wow, this is so weird. We're not hanging. See, when we go up the way, we should like hang, but it, like it almost stays stiff. Oh yeah, like the the only way to flip cars in that right, flipping the car is actually a really good example because you can't flip cars in this game. And just cause three, you can flip cars by using your grapple. So all you would do in just cause three is you would grapple onto something and you'd flip your car over. You could even use multiple grapples to help flip it. So your car's upside down, all you need to do, and actually this was Lobin, Lobin Thomas Sparks. Thomas Sparks, Thomas Sparks, Lobin. Um, famous GTA stunter, uh, very good with a car. Um, anyway, he taught, he taught me that you just uh, grapple here, Grapple onto the ground, reel in, and it'll flip over. And it works fine here, but in a lot of circumstances, when you are using various different vehicles, it goes crazy. Like the grapple actually goes mad. Um, so the best way I've found to actually do it is the other way, uh, is to actually lift it up. Whoa. Uh, and it's just because things inverted with grapples don't work properly in this game. Um, I'm sure you could fuck around and make it work. Just by random chance. But, um... If the game's that broken, no, fuck it. <laughs> don't mess around with that stuff. 
But yeah, the, the airlifter, airlifter flip is the way to go if your car gets upside down. Watch out! See, look, why am I not falling properly? It's so weird. I'm not hanging. I'm not hanging. It's like it shouldn't be doing this. It's like the wire almost acts like... Like a solid... Object. Like, it doesn't have any flecks in it. Anyway, uh, we were going to go and try and find uh, a different stunt to do because... Um, well, because we failed at that one. Failed. We got so close. That last attempt right before the hour mark. So the idea now is just have a little bit of an explore of Selyse. See if we can find something. I mean, we could try fly an airliner through this. I think we did try that last time and we failed. I think it was too small. If you tow a car and it gets closer to you, you even hear the retract sound. Yeah, like... I mean... I don't know exactly why the, the, the things don't seem to work as I would like in Just Cause 4, but uh, I suspect it's just because everything's dumbed down. Ouch! Jesus! I'm gonna steal his car for that. Or not. Across least for <laughs> crazily that they that ran me over. So I guess we're just going to drive around and see if we can find a find a a, a sort of verge on the side of the road that we can ramp off, or or a ramp that we can ramp off. Then, ideally, what we want to do is be able to find something that we can land on. Okay, how about that there? Man, just messing around at this stage, so like uh, anything could happen, uh, or, or nothing could happen. I was just thinking about maybe trying to land in this. But from over there, like we might need to use maybe a bike and jump. It's one of those situations where like I don't know if like a stunt can be done here. I don't know. Definitely need an off-road vehicle. Well, I was thinking about using maybe the, the, the off-road Jeep that's got a jump. But it's kind of slow, so... We'll try the bike first, and we'll see how far we get. Uh, the bike's certainly faster. And if it's too fast, we can always switch to the motorbike. Oh, jeez. <laughs> We're nowhere near. Right, okay, we might need to rethink this. Right, um, I'm starting to think that's maybe not... Not, not really plausible. Excuse me. 
back on the line inspecting stealing all the cars okay believe it or not I think that has got more of a chance of landing than the bike route we were taking. I know, I know, you'll all think I'm crazy, because, like, how the fuck are you going to land it doing that? I don't know, it just feels better. Right, okay, you see, you see, we've got the, we've got the height, we've got the distance. We just need to get the direction. If we can get, if we can get, if we get something aiming towards that tower, then then we got a chance at maybe making this work. Ah, and this is the process I like about stunts because, like, no one's done this before. So, like, how do you do it? Can you even do it? Is it possible? Can it be done? Um, there was a lot of shit going on there. I couldn't see the approach. Car switch. Whoa, too far. Miles too far. Holy moly. You could set up a ramp to get the direction. Um, I, I don't really know what you mean. You mean like drop one of those ramps? Like the, the ramps that you drop are not very good. Um, apart from the fact they're not very good as ramps. Um, they don't always sit flush um, or in the sort of situation that you want. Um, the amount of times I've driven at them fast and they've just acted like a wall is a bit frustrating. They are, they're, they're worse than normal terrain because you can't even, you can't even trust them to stay still. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, the ramp isn't great, especially with a supercar, because you just crash into it. Yeah, I mean, like, I'm sure you could do certain things with certain vehicles, but, like, um, I've not really experimented with it enough to, to have, to have kind of ideas about what might work. So, like, when it comes to this area here, I know... I know that I'm just going too fast, so... Um. Supply drop is on its way, Maybe the car trailer truck. White ramp car works quite well with bikes. Yeah, I mean, I'm not really, not really into constructing stunts. Um, I mean, I, I guess if like you're talking about sort of styles of stunts and stuff like that, yeah, like I don't really like to construct stunts because uh, it feels a bit artificial. Um, and also, you can make things easier. Like, I mean, if you're going to construct stunts like that, I mean, you could just construct your precision landings. You could just, like, place a boat, like, in the ocean and land there easily enough. Um, uh, likewise with a ramp, you could just set a ramp wherever you need to be in order to, in order to get the re prerequisite distance required. Whereas this is like, 
well, how do you get on top with what you've got available? And it's like, well, you can, but but how? You've got to figure it out. It's, a, it's like a problem to be solved. Um, and I'm doing an absolute shit job of solving it. I'm starting to think, like, actually, this vehicle is way too big and way too fast to be taking the approach that we were taking before. And it might be better... Maybe better with a bike. This one seems implausibly off the bat. How do you fly a curve? Um... And have you been watching every attempt? Because, like, we flew over it one time. Oh, God damn it. I'm just, I'm trying to take a more straight approach to make it a bit easier, as opposed to what we probably need to do, which is just uh, gamble on a nice bounce. This is the wrong vehicle, but we need to go slower anyway. If you got a nice bounce off that to the left, we could get the right angle. No, Dab, what are you talking about? That's insane. You can't do something like that. Wait, 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 but, 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 I've done stuff like that before. Have you not seen it? Maybe not, because it's not out yet. Yeah, that doesn't look like the best bounce. Right, okay. Um, I will concede on this particular um, idea. Because maybe it is, maybe it is as crazy as you implied. Oh, I just ran over a black hand man. What a shame. So I'm just I'm I'm just using my eyes to have a look around just to see what we've got. Because we need to find a stunt. Maybe a boat stunt. Maybe if we careened in from this direction with a boat. If we went off this, we would fly very, very, very far. You get some, get some flight on some boats sometimes. I'm thinking this is this is land a boat on the, on the gas station in the gas station. Oh, that's going to be explosive. Not done a boat stun in ages. Oh, there's a boat. Didn't even need to drop one. Boat stunts in this game are mad. Absolutely mad. Got out of the boat because I spotted an idea as I was as I was flying through the through the sand. I just thought, what if we went really really fast? I don't know 
not going to be able to go really fast in this vehicle. Nor are we going to be able to really go fast with the black hand after us. Let's do some evasion. Okay, back to what we were doing. This was a supercar. Um, I had an idea of maybe just like launching a car or a bike um, towards towards that little town. Maybe get something wedged in that bell tower. Um, landing in the bell tower. Oh yeah, um, Conath, if you've been tuning in any streams, you'll know that it's definitely going to trigger something. <laughs> Um, we tried to land in a bell tower one time with a bike, and we spent we spent more than five hours on it, and did not not even really get that close. Oh, this is bumpy, bumpy indeed. Uh, bell towers are kind of <clears throat> amazing. I can like, they're really hard. Um, you can land in them, or you can sort of jump through them. Just uh, kind of fun. I've done a hoverboard stunt through it, which is actually really quite hard because usually the, the, the hitboxes inside it stop you. Um, I've also tried that bike stunt landing in it. And off stream, I managed to go through it something like three or four times. Okay. Can we land in there? Like, is that mad? Can we land like in the side? Can we like wedge in between the sign? Boat and bell tower. Oh, I don't think a boat would fit in the bell tower. Oh, I think we could. Right, okay. What's going to be the best vehicle for the job here? Superbike? Yeah, I don't think a boat would fit in the bell tower. I don't know. Just guessing. Boat's pretty wide. Can barely fit a bike through the bell tower. So, boat probably not. Oh, I should have went for the moto. At least it's got a jump on it. Wow, this bike is super skiddy. And too fast. Maybe just get the tip in. <laughs> I don't know, you need to ask nicely first, wouldn't you? I would say it's possible to get the the, the kind of the nose of the the, the of the boat in, but like I mean, what's going to happen if you do that? Like I mean, I don't really know. I think the boat's probably going to explode, maybe. I mean, it should. If all was right in the world. Oh, we just overshot it. Right, okay. We're going to land in there. 
We're going to land in there. I think we may need to turn around 90 degrees as we go up. But that, that's the plan. Please get the nose of a fast boat stuck in the bell tower. Um, like, it's a great idea there, but it's like, I, at the moment, like, kind of, that's a, that's a crazy idea for maybe a future montage, if it can be bothered, kind of idea. It's not a, I'm going to try that next on stream. <laughs> but I appreciate the input. That's a mad idea. That is mad. Too mad. You gotta, you gotta build up. You can't start with insanity just straight away. Slow descent into madness. Oh, why did we lose all our speed? Come on. The sign stunt looks cool though. Um, this is kind of lame. I mean, like... It should be really easy because it's just a matter of getting the right amount of speed. It's just a, it's a nice little ramp. It's the kind of thing that is like, uh, I wouldn't, I wouldn't put this in a montage. Probably not even go into leftovers. But, it's, that's all point of stunning, is just to like, challenge yourself at something you maybe not sure if it can be done, or it might just require some persistence and patience in order to get it done. And also, like, this is going to look quite nice if it has landed. And, um, I find stunts aesthetically pleasing a lot of the time. So, just being able to see it landed is good enough. He says, as he puts in a shitty attempt. Come on. I don't know what's going on. Like, I'm trying not to use a jump because I don't really want to use a jump here. There's a nice ramp, so there's no need to use a jump. So it's just a matter of getting enough speed. But for some reason, am I just not going fast enough from far back? <laughs> we almost land on the mini. <laughs> oh, mad. That was that was a much better attempt. I don't know. Like I, I still kind of don't really know what I'm doing differently. Like I took off from further back there and went a bit faster, or took more time to build up speed. That's what it was. What? Must have hit a rock. Total anti climax to that attempt. <laughs> Felt good. Right, okay, come on. Right, okay, um. That was a decent attempt. That was a really decent attempt, and just... <laughs> if you contact something in the wrong place with your... With your, like, sort of ragdoll, uh, it doesn't seem to... Doesn't seem to... Doesn't seem to work very well. Like, I had I had this problem in the Zona Dos... Uh, bike precision that was the finisher for deliberation. Like, I remember, like, there were some people commenting, like, I think it was on... It was on YouTube or Reddit or something, saying, Oh, that's a really easy stun, that's really easy to replicate, and I'd be like, oh, yeah, holy shit, good luck. Um, uh, because it's, like, it's just not, like, landing on a... Landing with a bike... is fine if you're landing on the wheels. But if you're trying to hit something to stop you then using a bike is nah, probably a crazy idea. Drop is on its way, and that's kind of what we're doing here if we're trying to turn side on. 
and that was the problem with Zona Dos uh, finisher for deliberation is you turn inside on to try and contact the uh, a kind of area of a hitbox uh, in order to stop oh hey Beyonce how are you doing I'll get to your question in a second uh, what's your favourite map mod stunt montage uh, that's a really specific question which I don't think I have an answer for I think the problem being oh why did you jump uh, the problem being like I'm thinking right okay don't know specific stunt montages that use map mods. Like, I know that some have, but, like, I don't remember which ones. Man, I'd be hard pushed just to even name what my favourite montage is. I think I remember individual stunts more than montages a lot of the time. There's so many montages, they all did kind of blend into one. Another GTA montage. Speeding through San Andreas. Yeah, I mean, uh, no offense to sort of GTA stunt or anything, but it's like it's been around for seven years. Like, it's it's hard to make anything new or different. Or um, I guess that's where the appeal of map mods probably comes in. I saw um, what was it, Plex and Cartman's BMX. Uh, stunt sort of video. Uh, I wouldn't even call it a stunt video, sort of. Um, well, it kind of is a stunt video. There were stunts in it. But loads of, loads of sort of BMX kills and stuff. Quite funny. Very different. Cool camera angles. on top of the police vehicles it was a very nice touch right come on get some speed up I'd rather clear it than, than not reach it oh thanks fucking cleared it <laughs> right I'd rather land on it than clear it or not reach it Landed it. What do you think, guys? You like my bike? <laughs> I guess we're gonna have to do that again. <laughs> I don't really know what to say. It's like, right, it's time to land this. We landed it, and then that happened? What? That doesn't make a great deal of sense. Like, I think it, the bike must have just slipped through the gap or something, but... The bike is hot. And my favourite is speeding through San Andreas. Um, I honestly don't remember it. Um, There's not been that many evolve, uh, evolve. There's not been that many uh, mod map stunt montages, so it's probably evolves. 
is what I was going to say. Uh, and I think I do remember that one. Lots of grinds on walls. Like cars and stuff. Oh man, it pushed us bloody left. I don't know, it's, I guess it's, it's a Skyrim. Um, yeah, that's exactly what it is. I mean, we've not seen it before. Glad you're awake. doing unlucky we're trying uh, we tried to do the 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 windmill swing stunt for an hour and we almost landed it on the last attempt we got the best attempt on the last attempt then we had a bonus 10 minutes which was a complete waste of time we shouldn't have ever ever bothered with that that was a that was a mistake <laughs> and uh, now here we are with um Now here we are with a bike stunt. I've already landed, but the bike didn't really want to survive. I guess we're stuck here until we get it. Tried a few things along the way. All of it's been a completely lost cause. Right, okay. Oh, no, no. What? It just pushed us off. That's the second time we've landed in. It's like, no. I ate a turkey sandwich. I mean, what else did you have on it? It can't just be like a turkey on bread. That sounds dry. you got to have some, like some mayonnaise or some, some sauce or... A slab of butter, maybe some cheese. You've got to describe your turkey sandwich so that we can salivate adequately. Otherwise, we're not not really going to be envious of your 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 food show offness. Got to glow properly. It had cheese. Oh, that makes it a little better, yeah. And I'm... Oh, oh, oh! Anticipation. He's what? He's what? He's what? Is he full? Is he satisfied? Is he thirsty? Is he busy? Message retracted. Oh, no. He didn't want us to tell us what he was. Watch out! I was just coming out of the closet moment, and he's just gone back in. He wanted to tell us he was gay, but... Um, it, was, it was too big of a moment. Too public. I'm playing Rocket League. Are you streaming Rocket League? No, I'll stop my stream if you're streaming. I'll stop my stream so I can watch you stream. That's how committed I am to the unlucky Rocket League cause. Four leaf clovers. You don't need luck. Shall I just quit? Shall we play some Rocket League? This game's boring, it's rubbish. I don't like it anymore. Let's play an epic game from Epic Games. play Fortnite afterwards too. Double epicness. Yes! Perfect. Okay. So we've landed on the front. Very nice. I think I will take a little screenshot of that. 
one novo ofertas. Would you like bananas? Precious bajos. <laughs> uh, like, I mean, I've never seen a grocer advertise fruit like that. Unless they're, I mean, are they advertising the basket? I don't understand. Right, it is nice, Connor. Thank you very much. However, I'm not sure if it's nice enough. I really wanted to land it in the middle. Like, in the middle of it. Landing on the front is like, well, that's alright. Yeah? But, but it's like, it's like bronze. It's like bronze and we trained for gold. It's like, you trained for four years to get into the Olympics and you got bronze. It's like, no, you're going to train for another four years. Because you wanted gold. Oh, shit. Overshot it. Shouldn't have taken so many performance enhancements. Shouldn't have nitroed so hard. They're advertising fruit because it's the best thing since sliced bread. Uh, no, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with fruit. I'm just saying that, like, I've never... Like, I mean, that's, that's a billboard advertising fruit. Like, I've never seen that in my life. Solis is weird. I'm going to land top for sure, yeah. We've already landed top, so we just need to land top and not die. Oh, it's close. That was a nice one. Just a wee bit too much. I should stop making joke attempts. Um, I mean, like, I mean, like, no, you shouldn't ever stop making joke attempts. No. How are you going to get better if you stop attempting? It's like saying I should stop doing the stunt. Ain't happening, guys. Ain't happening. Oh, 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 oh. Not until we land it. So keep your joke attempts until you, until one lands. Or, or practice in your free time so that you're not bothering everybody with uh, ridiculous fails for two hours. Like me. Oh, come on! With the, like, squirreling! Next three. Like, I mean, that doesn't mean anything anymore, unlucky. Like, I, <laughs> I did that for, like, an hour straight at the beginning of the stream, and it was, like, <laughs> got me nowhere. It's like, gonna get on the next one. Positive thinking all the way. Oh no, another failure. Oh god, that just felt bad from the off. This one's not a difficult stun, it's the approach is hard. Cause it's like, it's all... It's just all over the place. And it keeps bouncing you. As soon as you go off-road, you just start bouncing around. It feels horrible. Oh, that was a perfect distance. I need to get some food, actually, after this. I had a, I had a little protein bar before I came on, just as a bit of a snack, so that I wouldn't complain for three hours that I was hungry. Um, but that turkey sandwich has now got me thinking about food again, so... And the protein bars obviously obviously mostly digested at this stage. So starting to think again about food. What could I have? I've not got an awful lot of food in the house, I need to go shopping again. And I don't have any cheese. So no matter what I have, it's gonna be cheeseless. Which is a terrible state of affairs to be in. Right, we've definitely used up the next three there. I'm sure that was like five. Protein bars are great. Um, like I wouldn't recommend them. Uh, I, I would recommend get some meat first. Get some quality sources of protein. Uh, but yeah, I just I needed to snack and I didn't really have very much. So it was convenient. And that's what they're useful for. And... Considering I've been sat in the house all day doing very little, 
being kind of chill today. And that's a really poor excuse. Don't need convenience. This is it. That's no, not. It's fucking perfect direction. It felt really good. The speed on this is so hard to to feel like it's right or not. I feel like with other stunts, like I can I can tell when I'm on it. This one, nope. Not going fast enough. Must go faster. Oh, it was night time. Not landed many nighttime stunts on stream. Could this be one of them? Oh! Oh, that was so close. Like, I thought that was it. I thought we were just going to come down and land on it. Moon is out. I don't, I don't have any bread. Do you know what I do have? I do have flour. So I could make bread? Like, I've got yeast and water. I can, I can make a loaf. I'm not even joking. Next 20. We've already landed it like three times, Mr. Unlucky. I've just not landed the way I want to, so like, I'm not sure the next 20 is doing anything for me. One. Okay, are you counting? 19 to go. 19 to go until what? Until we run out of your 20 attempts that that we don't get punished for, or we don't get we don't get rewarded for. Like you need to you need to set up some sort of like risk reward factor to make it interesting. Like what happens if I don't get it in 20? You'll say next three. <gasps> oh! Right, but is that is that three attempts we've had? We've got 17 attempts left. I'm not good at maths. 18 to go. Oh no, Connor's going to bed. After can we can we make him go to bed early? Oh yes, that's that's the thing. Can we make him go to bed early? That's real motivation. Like a proper like absolute fuck you, Connath. Like you're not even gonna get entertained. You're going to bed. Oh look at it, it's motivating me. The meanness is motivating me. Oh, I'm obviously like just a horrible person. Cause this is um This is really amping me up. I'm feeling really hyped for this now. Next fifty, then you can eat a rocket league credits. What? Come on, 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 come on. Oh, why did it stalled in the air? Did you see that? Like I was traveling and it just seemed to stall and it was like it just held up there. The gods don't want Connath to go to bed so early. I'm fighting. I'm fighting against the gods. David against Goliath. Can the little man do it? No, he can't! The gods are too much! Is Goliath a god? No, that was just like a titan or something, wasn't it? In fact, no, that's not even a Greek myth! Oh no, so that's not like a god? Like, David and Goliath's like a biblical myth, isn't it? Little guy against the big guy. Still, it's still like a kind of god-like kind of thing, isn't it? Little guy against the big guy? Me against the stunting gods. Can I beat them? Dab against Goliath. I could be like Samson. With the long flowing hair. And it's the long flowing hair that gives me my power.
Jonathan and Samson. We're bringing you uh, biblical stories here. Uh, tab 88 uh, with the biblical stories. We have David and Goliath and Samson and Delilah, uh, Abel and Cain, and um, Noah and the boat. Oh, you bitch. Oh, you actual bitch. Can you? Did you see this? Did you see this? David and Goliath. <laughs> yeah, nice. Um, what do you call those um, when you can join words together? Um, oxymoron. No, it's not oxymoron. Um, I can't remember. Conjoined words. Love a conjoined word. We just landed that. Did you see that, guys? Like, did you actually see that? I don't know what to say about it. Dang, being rounded up to ten because I was so close. <laughs> I, I, I've lost count. I've lost count because... Oh, man, I don't know. I thought, as long as we get in the middle, like, we'll, we'll land it. Ugh! We would definitely need a new bike. I'm, I'm scared of getting rid of it. It feels like... Feels like the bike is my my hair. I am Samson. If I get rid of the hair, I'll lose my power. If I get rid of the bike, I'll, I'll lose my opportunity to land this. Oh, we're up! We're up! We're up! We're up! We're up! See, why didn't that one stall in the air? And why did I travel so far? Fuck you, bike. The power of Jesus compels me to stun and land it. We should get some evangelical um, uh, chanting going on. Do you believe? I believe. Don't know how many attempts we've got to go, but like, I mean, I, I, I want to land on the top. I want to land on the top. Don't land in the front. That felt like it was just a bit easy. Oh god, like, <laughs> that was never gonna work. <gasps> but that's where we want to land, right on the top, right on. Now, nah, actually, it's like the inside bit that we want to land on. I don't think landing on the top like that is even possible. Definitely not. Oh, too fast. Too fast. Stall! Come on! Clearly not helping. Sticking to cow gods. 0 0.4 left. The cow gods. Oh, like... Uh, oh, no, it's not... Do you know what? I was thinking of, like... Is it the Hindu god? Like Vishnu or something? I was like, oh, yeah, that one. It's like, no, that's a fucking elephant. Jesus. Jesus, yes. Just stick, stick, stick with. Well, I don't even really know. Ah! That was it. Warriors come out to play. Um, I don't know what that means. Have I said something really stupid now? Okay, night time is Solis. We're gonna land on top of this. It's just gonna feel totally casual. Ah, the bumpy fucking approach. Shite. Absolute shite. Cows are holy animals there, though. Yeah, yeah, it's just, it was more to do with the fact that, like, I did actually think, oh yeah, that, that cow god. And I was like, no, it's an elephant. An elephant. Every time we get a really good speed, it's too fast. Last one. This one. Or the last one. The last one was the last one. 
This one's going to be the last one. And before you go to bed, that is, Conath. I'm going to land this and you can go to bed. Okay. I'll land it here and then you can go to bed satisfied. No, oh, no, it was just too much. Just a wee bit too much. It was close. That's the best I can do for you there, Conath. I'm afraid you're going to need to go to bed now. So uh, do the old routine. Uh, turn off all your um, devices. Make sure you are in complete darkness for at least 20, mo 20 minutes before you go to sleep. Roger that. Supply Brush your teeth. Heavy. Drink a glass of water so that you piss yourself. No, no, don't, don't do that. That's a bad idea. Unlucky can do that. Eat a protein bar and drink a glass of water and then go to bed. Thanks for tuning in. And now that Conath is on his way out the door, we're going to land this behind his back um, and uh, make him feel really silly for, for not for not staying around because because uh, wouldn't you be annoyed at like getting landed moments after you're leaving? And then we can we can send him a link. Rub it in his face, being like, ha ha ha, you are not a good viewer. Next time, stay awake all night watching. I'm joking, obviously, that'd be really dumb. Gotta keep a good, healthy sleep routine. Important for your mental health. Get your circadian rhythms in check. Okay, come on, boost. We're going too fast. Fucking hell, I need to stop boosting. How you doing, unlucky? Are you still playing Rocket League? Yeah. Protein bar acquired. Oh, this is so annoying. I, I not getting close enough or going way over it. Can I get something in the fucking middle, please? We just had to clear the top of that and we were in. Why is it always these little stunts that seem such total fucking horrible, 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 horrible. I wonder why the guy I'm next in that car is thinking. You're in a car? I thought you said you were playing Rocket League. You're not playing Rocket League in your car. Lighting just went totally fucking weird. <laughs> I wonder what the guy next to that car is thinking. I don't know what car you're referring to. Are you referring to the game that I'm playing here or something that you're doing in real life or a game that you're playing? You need to be like way more specific. 
Because all you really did was write out the same sentence kind of twice, really. I mean, I think you edited out like a word or maybe two. But, I mean, structurally, it said exactly the same thing. It gave no further, further information. <laughs> it was like, in fact, if anything, because it edited the words out, it gave less information. It was like, I'm going to write a sentence and you want clarification? I'm going to write that sentence with less words. It's like, are you trying to break my balls here? We lost all the speed on that bump. Fucking bump. And the one way a good, one good way to kind of avoid the bumps is to boost over them. But if you boost over them, you end up going too fast. Fucking god damn it. I'm so annoyed with this stunt now. It's like it's so finicky, it's unreal. Oh, you'd like to do this really easy stunt? Yes, please. The guy in the game. Um, yeah, if you want to see, like, guys in games looking weird. Oh, man, I've got a link for you. I'll see if I can post this in, um, post this in chat quickly. Will it let me? I think it'll let me because I'm, I'm the, the kind of, the streamer. There's a funny link. Wonder what he was thinking. I thought I was going to be it. It felt good. It's close. A little bit off direction. Right, that's not the route to take. Yeah, I need to just go back to coming in. Wait. So this is, this is a difficult stunt because of the approach. The approach is really bumpy, and the bumpy approach just affects your speed so much. So the best way to do it is to come in a little bit late. Like that. But then it's a matter of getting the right speed. Which has always been, because the direction isn't actually too bad. It's, it's, it's fairly nice if you get the right the right so avenue up the up the verge it doesn't send you too far to left or right but the problem is is the speed aspect oh god see that's once just a little bit under once just a little bit over give me that one in between that middle that that jammy center Oh, like fucking perfect distance and we got the poor direction. <laughs> oh no. It giveth with one hand and it taketh with the other. Small smash. I love your stuff, man. Um, well, thank you. Um, there's plenty of it to love. Oh, come on, it's sentence left again. Oh, sorry, right. I need a new bike. Well, welcome in, tune in. Grab yourself a pew. Welcome to the congregation. We are having a bit of a sermon here today.
That was the most perfect flight ever. Straight over the top of it. This asshole game is just teasing me. Right, okay, like, I'm just not even going to boost. I'm just like, not going to stop boosting. Because every time I boost, I seem to go way, way too far. Way too far. And I don't... Uh, uh, I've had enough of it. I've had enough of it. We're just going to land it. We're going to land it. We're going to move on. Because this is just frustrating now. I don't like it anymore. It's not fun. Let's play Fortnite. Yeah. Have they brought back 50-50? I want to play 50-50 again. Fifty-fifty was the only time I actually enjoyed Fortnite. I think the one week that it was available. <laughs> like four years ago or something. Right, that was terrible. Too busy thinking about some shitty game that I've not played in forever. I played with a controller and playing on PC with a controller just felt like a massive handicap because everybody else was really good and would blast you and you're like, what the hell? I can't do that. Not with my controller. I can barely even build. And, oh, like, oh yeah, I mean, I think one good thing about going back to Fortnite now is I could move on to the new control style. Whereas I was stuck with the old one. I'd already learned that. And it was like mechanically ingrained in me. So I didn't want to switch out. And it was really bad. Oh, I boosted and I shouldn't have boosted. It felt like I needed to boost though. It felt like I wasn't fast enough. Right, okay. I'll just do it this time without a boost. And we'll see if it's fast enough. And that'll be... I need to get a good direction. It's daytime, so we've got plenty of opportunity. As long as there's no cars in there. Get a good direction, get a good direction, get a good direction. No boost, no boost. Oh, that's what we need to do. Right, okay. I need to stop second guessing myself. No boost. Rocket League 2, made by me. Uh, Rocket League 2 is Rocket League 2. Super amazing, fast, acrobatic car, rocket cars. Super acrobatic rocket race car. I can't remember what it used to be called. But that was the first Rocket League. So Rocket League is technically Rocket League 2. Except it's not Rocket League 2. It's more like what the other game used to be called. Super acrobatic rocket fueled power cars. I don't remember the name, clearly. Fucking right, okay, I know what to do here. I, right. We've broken it down, I've tried it enough times. Let's just do it. Supersonic acrobatic rocket powered battle cars. Yeah, that's it. See, it just rolls off the tongue. It's so easy to remember. No wonder they changed it to Rocket League. I mean, come on. This is it. I mean, that felt like it was going to be it. Don't, don't say that you didn't think the same. Right, we've got the speed down. We've got the speed down. It's just a matter of being consistent, getting the right 
take off at the right angle and then being lucky with the landing. It's three things that could have come together. Two of them are down to me. So let's just do the old meatloaf. Two out of three ain't bad. And hopefully it'll all come good. Meatloaf. See how that just... It's the food. It's the food. So I can't stop thinking about the food. Wow, did the clouds just change there? Alright, we don't want to land on that lower bit. We're going for top. Come on. Oh man, how did we sail over it? We've been coming up short every time and then we sail over it. It's got to be the direction of the ramp. It can't be the speed because we're taking consistent speed. It's just got to be the angle at the top of this verge that's just throwing us off differently. Like, I actually hate this stunt now. It's not even hard. And it's not... Like, I mean, it probably should be fun. But um, I, I guess I've probably just, like, uh, built it up in my head that it should be easier. So I'm not enjoying it. <laughs> Come on, you bastard! Like, it just killed all my speed on the takeoff. We're doing the same shit every time. It's like, oh, this game. This just feels like random chance at this point. Who's controlling this? It's not me. The stunt gods are just fucking with me. Right, I'm glad I don't have anything. Like, I was thinking about like putting a timer up on for this, but like, no, that's probably a bad idea. I would just get even more frustrated. And I'm glad I don't have anything to stop for because, like, I just want to get this. If I had to just like stop streaming just because, like, I don't know, I don't have plans or something, I'd be like, um, I'd be exponentially more annoyed. But I've got time. There is time. Yes, come on. Yes! At last! Oh my god, that took so long! Why was that stun so hard? I have no idea. It's probably because most of it's a big fucking hole that you fall into. Did you catch that unlucky? I hope you did, because that was, um, that was a very difficult stunt. Not difficult, because it should be. Difficult, because I'm shit. Okay, what's this bitch talking about on the radio? So this is the, this is the... The Daredevil Girl. The Selena Underground. So I've got to go across to this place. Where is it? It's miles away. Should we go and check it out? Yeah, let's go and check it out. I need to do this stuff anyway, so... So why not? Why not? 
Why not do it now? We're two and a half hours in the stream. We've landed two stunts on that sign. The first one, nah. Second one, pretty happy with. Took a little, little bit longer than I would have liked, but um, I think if I, if I had my way, I'd probably land every stunt master style. First time. Um, but that's not realistic, is it? So, so sometimes they just take time. Sometimes you got to break them down. Sometimes you just got to persevere and invest uh, for this shit to get landed. But the good news is, is we've done it. We've moved on. We're now going to go and check out, see what this mission is. We'll do this mission. You never know, we might find a stunt on this island. We might, we might just do the mission. I don't know. Are you all right there, Rico? You comfortable? Yeah, 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 yeah. You sure? It's not, it's not like you know, too cramped or anything. No, you all right? Yeah, sure. Okay, cool. Maybe we should just do a stunt in this as we approach. No. I meant that. I meant to land here. I meant to land here. That's what I was trying to do. Um, I was actually thinking last minute. It was like we could probably go through this. This bit. This bit. This bit. But it's really wide, so it's actually be quite easy. So let's go to the, what we came here for, which is the, the mission. Um, which is all the way down there, I believe, down by the harbour. Riko Kamikaze. So we'll have have a look down here. Um, is this a mission? Oh, I don't have the I don't have the overhead display sort of turned on, so it's just reticule only. So I have no idea what what that was all about. The racing legend himself, Rico Rodriguez. Am I supposed to get in this car? Escarlata. Thought your gang would be bigger. Forget your army. All right, so I've got to drive this woman around for what for a predetermined amount of time or something while she talks repeatedly. Oh, this will be like the tutorial of like, oh, how do you how do you control your vehicle? Um, do you know? You don't know, so like maybe you should learn. And I'll be like, all oh, right, okay, so it's like this button to shoot. And this button to drive, and um, she's probably explaining this. Oh look, there's mines. Um, they fly as well, flying mines. Nice. What are you saying, nice now for? I've shot like a dozen of those already. Oh, more mines. No, oh, thousands of mines. Right, this is boring. Can we finish? I'm no killer. Che told me just to get your attention. Che Sam's boss of LNP says you and your army are. I don't know whether I was supposed to shoot that one with the green. Like I had a big target on it, but it didn't look like it was. Oh shit! <laughs> I didn't know that was going to explode. Um, right, okay, this is really boring. I'd, I'd rather do the race or something like that. It's obviously clearly building up to. This isn't a jump. Just done a bigger jump than this before before we even came here. Escarlata doesn't know anything about stunts. Why do your bosses want to talk to me? They want the army of chaos gone. They want you gone. What do you want? 
The gangs of Solis have always helped people survive the game. But you are actually changing the rules. So convince the gangs to help. The bosses don't listen to me. Maybe I could be more... I can't s I, like, I'm, I'm trying key to key concentrate and see the, where the arrows are in front of me. Because you just kind of merge into the ground. This is it. What do you mean, this is it? Is this where I get out? That's where she got out. <laughs> oh, we'll just skip that because we don't really care. Is that it? Is that it done? Is it finished? Are we actually going to get to do a race now? This doesn't feel right. Okay, I think we need to put on the head-up display because I can't see what we're doing. Show all. Okay, this is better. Oh yeah, because we've got like we've got stuff that we can do now. Right, so I think the idea is just like shoot a bunch of stuff and get all the points. And um, and then if you get all the points, I think you you unlock like uh, the the cars and stuff, and that's what we actually want to do because there's actually some stunt cars I really want to get, not stunt cars, but there's some st cars I want to get that I can stunt with that you can only get from completing this and getting the uh, getting all the the unlocks. But, like, I don't actually know what I'm doing here. I've not done this in forever. I've played this once, the Daredevil's Destruction thing. Uh, and... Um, unlocked everything, and then didn't play it ever again. So... So I guess I have experience, but not recently. So I'm sure there was like a way of doing these kind of things. It was like it was pretty um, standard. I'm sure like blowing up these guys was pretty effective at getting tons of points. What do you mean my molly pliers running out? I just blew stuff up. That should be enough to keep it going. Oh, and I'm out of time. Right, oh, so there's also time time rings that you need to go through. This is really boring to watch. I need to do better at this. So Come back when you're not so bad. How do I restart? Give me another chance. Here goes. So I think the blue rings are timers. So let's just pick up this other one. Yeah. Oh, come on.
God, the black hands are really helping me out here by, like, driving into stuff all the time. There's got to be another way where I've got to get, like, tons of points. Because, like, if I'm going for an S rank, I think it's, like, 300,000 or something crazy. Uh, so to get, like, an S rank, I think there's got to, there's got to be somewhere where there's got to be, like, tons more points that I'm missing. Or maybe not. Oh no, they see there's some stuff. Cool. There it is. Keep going. God, that was a massive jump. I had no idea I was there. Just going into the middle of nowhere. Oh, we've got 15 seconds. We're so close. We're so close. Yes, we just got over 300,000. S rank success. Nice one. Second attempt as well. So you're ready for round two? That's some good shit. Okay. You keep that car if you want. It's got potential. New challenges are available. Okay, so there should be challenges all across Celeste now. Which means that we can go to the specific one that we want to get the vehicle. And we can complete it. Potentially. Because it looks like some of them are locked. Yeah, so some of them are locked. But, some of them aren't. So let's have a look around, see... Oh, that's one that we want. So let's go there straight away. We have got task, a challenge. Got you later, Rigo. Give him hell. We know the vehicle we want. We know the race we got to do to get it. How many points do we need to get the, the S vehicle, the S rank? Alright, okay, I don't really know what we're doing here. We've got to get like 15... I don't understand. It's like, you got to get points or you got to do it in a time limit? Or is it both? Oh shit! Oh no, that's really bad. How do you get back onto the track? It's happened again! No! Stay on! <laughs> right, I don't really like this. I don't know what the objective is. We've got like a time limit. And like, you've got to get a certain amount of points. 
But like, what? Does that mean you gotta go fast, or you gotta get points, or is it both? Is there, oh no, is, is there laps? It's hard to tell what's going on. Especially with all the neon lights everywhere. I'm probably thinking going up that ramp is probably a good idea. It's probably going to get like a bunch of points from it. Yeah. This is, this is such an ugly sort of game to play. <laughs> it's like, it's so bright. It's like, you can tell that like the, pe the people who made this are the people who made that Rage 2 game. <laughs> it's that same nuts fucking just neon pink style. I blew him up in mid-air, but he didn't die. More time. What do you need time for in this game? I don't understand. Is it a limit? Can I just like, ha if there's a time limit, does that mean I can just like hang about somewhere and blow stuff up or something? Like, can I just wait for the enemy to like, come after me and then just just shoot them all man it looks like they're already taking each other out nice. That'll help. yeah oh we found some guys to finally shoot What's going on here? Like, um, <laughs> I think I maybe veered off the track a little bit. Is that normal? Almost there, but yeah, like I've got no points though. Like, how do I get points? Hey, Rico, look out for the tornado. Looks like the tornado's getting all my points for me. Right, okay, that just felt like a total just mind fuck from beginning to end. Like, how are you supposed to get 350,000 points from that? I, I don't understand. Like, where are you supposed to get the multipliers and stuff from? Maybe I was using the wrong vehicle. Right, okay, so picking a different vehicle, the idea being maybe we can cause a little bit more destruction with this one. And maybe that'll allow us to get more points. 
I mean, I don't know. I mean, it's a bit of a long shot, but at the, the minute, like, I don't really know how else to get the 350,000 points from this. Um, I think possibly not dying so much might be might be a beneficial thing. Like, because I, I fell off the track maybe, like, what, four or five times or something? What? No, 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 no. Like, it, ugh, I steered into that and it steered me away. Terrible. Oh, there's tons of guys here. I missed these all the last time round. Oh yeah, man, like we're getting way more points this time around because there's actually like opportunity and time to think and look to see where all these guys on the side of the road are. I didn't notice any of them the last time around. Man, we got 150,000 and we're what, maybe about halfway there already. So we're looking pretty good. If we can keep up this rate of uh, like points collection, we might have a chance of doing this. Um, oh, driving in this shit is not a good idea. No, stop shooting me. Oh man, that exploded when I shot it. Maybe some more of the bar- Maybe I should be shooting the barriers as well. Oh, it's starting to look like I've been missing a whole bunch of tricks here. Like, does everything get you points? I think it probably does. Dropping all these grenades behind me, but I don't think there's anything happening. What do you mean I'm about to explode? Give me a new vehicle then. Wait, I can drive off the road, but I can't explode. Yeah! That'll do. Just have all these cars like fucking pile up here. Yeah, thank you, thank you. That's all the points, thank you. Just what I need. <laughs> um. Oh, the arrows are actually pointing the other way. Does that mean I'm going the wrong way? What? Oh, I think you have to go with this. Maybe that's what they mean by the main event? The main event is the the tornado crossing over your path? Oh, come on! Are you actually taking the piss? Alright, at least give me some points down here. I've got 30 seconds and like 60,000 points to accumulate. 
I don't know if it's possible. Alright, we've got more time, so can we get more points? That's the real question. into the yonder just hoping that it just get, gives me some points too slow like come on now like I'm not happy about this I've got to get 350,000 points out of this and I'm not even sure I picked the right vehicle Let's try it again, because actually it looks like the best one. Nice right, okay, this time. 350,000 points, just like that. That shit hit me. Right, okay, we've got off to a fairly decent start. I say that and uh, just fucking drive into something to explode. <laughs> Maybe not the decent start I was looking for. Try shoot everything. And it just looks like I'm just getting shot. I'm starting again because that that is just like a fucking gash. Right, okay. We're three hours into the stream. We got completely distracted. We're not even doing any stunts anymore. Uh, we're trying to get this like dumbass vehicle because it's really good for stunting with. So we've got a we've got a we've got a motor uh, in this motor. Gotta get 300,000 points from this collection of um, brightly coloured bullshit. No, don't go off the fucking... Oh, god damn it. Oh, that'll do. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't worry about going off the track so much. <laughs> that worked out perfectly. Oh man, I just missed all those things at the side of the road. It's so messed up already, it's like, it's just not even funny. Like, I don't know if we're going to be able to finish it in a completely broken vehicle. Because that's what we're in at the moment. We're in a completely broken vehicle. We're getting good points. 
We were getting good points. I think in order to get good points, you kind of got to be in the pack, maybe. Because uh, it just seems to be a, a good way of getting lots of points. It's just being in amongst everybody else, causing lots of chaos and destruction. Uh, the problem with that is, is um, it tends to it tends to be very expensive and it blows you up. Right, he just fucked up. My, right, okay, this is... I'm, go I'm going to try this. This is going to be the last attempt here because it's three hours in the stream. And this is pissing me off. That guy just fucking dropped grenades on my ass. Which is what I've been doing to them the whole way along. But I don't really appreciate it when it happens to me. <laughs> Yeah, we finally got that start, like, really good. <laughs> Multiplier's gone already. Whoa! Everything just went mental. Blew, blew myself up. Knocked me out of the sky. I don't need to go fast. You just you don't even need to win. That's the thing in this. You just need to get the points. Maybe you do need to win, I don't really know. How would I know? Not done well enough to find out. One thing I do know is, like, I'm not going to be able to make it to the end in this car if I keep getting shot up. These grenades aren't doing anything. I don't know if we've got good points or not. Oh, what was that? You actually taking the piss? Like the car got seem to get caught on the top or some shit. That was nuts. Right, okay. We've somehow got to get 150,000 points. And I don't know if it's possible. It doesn't give you any indication as to like what's even doable with the time that you got. One thing I am very concerned about is like just the health of my car. I'm in very, very poor health at the moment. I still gotta get 120,000 points. We're at that critical moment where it's like, you could just blow up at any time. There it is. Keep going. We definitely do not need to be hitting any... Any, any red barrels.
See, I've got tons of time. I'm feeling like I should maybe just, like, stop and just shoot all this stuff. Like, I've got, like, over a minute. Actually, maybe stopping is not a good idea. Oh, no! I'm about to explode, and I've got nearly 350,000 points! No way! Oh man, oh we still got time. Oh shit, I didn't die. I'm glad I didn't quit. Right, we've got S rank. All we need to do is finish it. We just need to finish the race. So we've got S rank and we've got two checkpoints to get through. The last attempt that we've kind of committed to doing, we're actually going to be able to do it. Oh, this is this is going to be a, a worthy end to the stream because this is the vehicle that we want to get. Well, maybe not this one that I'm in right now, but the one that we're going to get when we finish this race and we get awarded with is the vehicle that we've been waiting for, and looking for, and working towards. And it's the whole, like, ah, man. Like, we didn't get too many good sh stunts in the stream. We got nice landing with a sign, with a bike. But that is good enough. That is good enough, because... S rank. The Verdineon. The Verdineon S, that's what we've got. We've got the new vehicle. And just to just to show you show you what we're talking about here, we'll we'll get it spawned. Um so where's our Daredevil stuff? So yeah, there we go. Boom. Not exactly your typical drop, uh, mostly because of the tornado. <laughs> and this is what we were looking for, the Verdineon S. And why did we want this? Because it's probably one of the fastest cars. It's got an awesome boost. Ooh! It's very, very quick. And it's very, very maneuverable. And it's very good. I quite like it. Landed some cool stunts with this. One of my favourite vehicles. So we'll maybe come back on the next stream and see if we can do something with it. Now that we have it. After all that effort of trying that race and it not really wanting us to get any points, we finally got there in the end. We got 350,000 points. We got the S rank vehicle. Which means it's got all these cool, um, like, pincers on the side of the side of the wheels here. And it's got the, the guns. And it's got the nitro. And it's really good. Thanks for watching the stream. Um, we'll see you next time. Where we will come back. Maybe do some stunts with this. Maybe even go back and land that windmill stunt. Who knows? We can only try.